Arthrix presents the EDB internal brace augmentation repair technique for crossover toe pathology. Initially, an incision is made along the dorsal aspect of the second ray through the subcutaneous tissue to expose the extensor tendons. The extensor digitorum longus tendon is lengthened in a Z fashion. Next, the extensor digitorum brevis tendon is identified just lateral to the extensor digitorum longus and a tenotomy is performed proximally at the musculotendinous junction. The proximal and distal aspects of the extensor digitorum longus tendon are then tagged for later repair and retracted. A proximal whip stitch is created to tag the EDB tendon using a 4-0 fiber loop suture. It is important to note that the distal insertion of the extensor digitorum brevis at the proximal phalanx remains intact. This animation demonstrates a varus deformity correction. In this instance, the collateral ligaments are contracted medially and lax laterally, causing the deformity. Next, a dorsal capsulotomy is performed and the MTP joint is exposed. Collateral ligament releases are performed to allow passive correction of the deformity. A maglamry retractor is used to free up the plantar plate proximally. Next, a guide wire is placed into the proximal phalanx from dorsal medial to plantar lateral. Using a cannulated 2.5 mm drill bit, drill through both cortices in the phalanx. Keeping the guide wire in place, a slight overdrill is performed using the 3.0 mm cannulated drill bit. Another guide wire is placed into the distal metatarsal just proximal to the articular surface from dorsal medial to plantar lateral. Proceed to initially drill through both cortices using the 2.5 mm cannulated drill bit, followed by an overdrill using the 3.0 mm cannulated drill bit. Using the nitinol suture passing wire, the whip stitched extensor digitorum brevis tendon and labral tape suture are passed through the proximal phalanx from medial to lateral and pulled to adequate tension. A 3 by 8 mm peak tenodesis screw is inserted medially to initially set the tension in the proximal phalanx. Next, using the nitinol suture passing wire, shuttle the whip stitch tendon and labral tape suture from lateral to medial through the metatarsal head. Pull tension medially on the construct until the desired correction is achieved and the toe is brought back into an anatomic position. Finally, insert a second 3 by 8 mm peak tenodesis screw into the metatarsal tunnel to set the final tension of the construct. This recreates the deficient lateral collateral ligament. The excess labral tape suture and EDB tendon are cut flush medially at the metatarsal head, and the previously tagged extensor digitorum longus tendon ends are repaired appropriately. This completes the repair.